question number seven. Okay, so here we're just given one word, magnitude. So you can just kind of go over this topic and kind of when is this relevant. So let's go through what the junior tutor said. Magnitude is the numeric value of physical quantity when it is expressed. It may, be, may have values of negative infinity to positive infinity. In math, the magnitude or size of a mathematical object is a property that determines whether the object is larger or smaller than other objects of the same kind. More formally, an object's magnitude is displayed result of an ordering or ranking of the class of object which is it belongs. So you can kind of this this is kind of a complex explanation of a simple kind of word so magnitude is just kind of the size you can think about think about it of size or, or how large something is whether it's negative or positive so whenever i say let's say the magnitude of 2 like the number 2 so let me I'll label this question number 7 so let me just erase this so magnitude of, well, let's say x, so the variable x. And x here, let's say, is 2 in this situation. So the magnitude of, of, two, of 2, or the size of 2, is just 2. But where it becomes relevant is if I say, what is the magnitude of negative 2? So although it's a, it's a negative number here, you only really care about the size of, of of how negative this is. So the size of this is still two. You you, you kind of just ignore the negative and you just say, okay, the size of this is just two. So that's kind of what magnitude is. Um, so regardless of kind of what variable or what number you can get, like you know, let's say one thousand two hundred eighty-two. Same idea. If it, if it was positive. The magnitude of this number, the second over here. So if this was positive, the magnitude would still be the same. If it was negative, the magnitude, of, let's say y, let's call this y. So the magnitude of y. So these bars, right here, is represents magnitude. So the magnitude of y would be a thousand two hundred eighty-two. So that's kind of a a way to think about what magnitude is in the situation. So, so this answer is correct. Answer. Great job. So the last thing, actually, now that I uh, recall something, um, the last thing I want to say for magnitude. Let me just erase all of this. So the other thing that you ca is important to know about magnitude is the comparison of what a vector versus a scalar. So when we're thinking of a vector, it's um, something that has magnitude and direction. So. You have vector and scalar, and then for scalar, it only has magnitude. So what is what does this mean here? So I'll use a different color. So magnitude and magnitude, but direction is separate; its own thing. So if we had some kind of vector, so an arrow, from this point to this point, or some person traveled from point A to point B, we would say that this vector right here represents um, a quantity that has magnitude and direction. So the magnitude is, let's say this is like 2 meters, that's the magnitude. The direction is this person is traveling in this direction. For a scalar, really, all we care about is the value of the, the distance traveled, not necessarily which direction. It doesn't matter which direction. We only care about the magnitude for a scalar. If the question is asking for a scalar, you only really care about the magnitude. So that's the last thing I want to say for this question. So I'll mark this as correct, and I'll move on to the next question.